welcome to my channel. It's Sierra. Um, I am just kind of hanging out in the kitchen. I have no makeup on. It's not that early, but I am... My mother-in-law's coming this weekend, so... Today, actually. So I'm just kind of trying to get stuff ready, making sure all the dishes are done, clean out the fridge. That's what I need to do. Um, so I thought I'd pop on and hang out with you guys. My husband's sleeping right now, so my hair is wild. Sorry. And... I'm enjoying my green tea latte, my matcha, chai, no, just matcha, latte from Starbucks. I love it. I was like a little bit upset when I first got it because all the like powder was at the bottom so I was just getting like chunks of it and I was trying to mix it and I couldn't, but finally I think it's like, I finally think it's, I either drank it all or <laughs> it's combined. So I'm just going to show you really quick what I've got set up in here. I have dishes that I need to put away here. But I have... Let's see. Sorry, guys. So I have our cheese tray set up. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond from our wedding. Um, and it's really nice. It has the knives. I'll put the link down below to it. Um, I don't know the brand offhand, but... It's nice because it has places for all the knives and stuff. Um... So, and then I didn't have grapes, and I was going to buy some, and I thought, I have a ton of strawberries. I might as well just put strawberries out, because that's delicious, too. And then, this is the stuff I need to throw out from the fridge. Yum. And I have some strawberry compote. We had so many strawberries that were going to go bad, so. I'm making some strawberry compote here. So... I love Trader Joe's. Like, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, I'm so sorry but a lot of people consider Trader Joe's super expensive which it's not the cheapest store but they do have some good items that are inexpensive and every time you go you get free coffee and like a little free coffee and then like whatever they're serving as like the sample I just love Trader Joe's like going in there just makes me happy it could just like be having the worst day and I just walk in Trader Joe's usually people are so nice and so anyways I digress what I want to talk to you about is our cheeses. Usually you can find some really good cheeses for a pretty good price. Because um, I know we've been to like Vons and other places and their cheese is really expensive to me. So my favorite right now is Toscano cheese with black pepper. They have a wine one as well. Um, like a red wine one. And that one's really good too but the black pepper one I just love it. So I decided to get this one instead of the wine one. And this is, sorry guys, we're boiling over here. Okay, I think our compote's done. <laughs> it's like all, oh, it calmed down. Great, I just cleaned the stove. What's new? Um, so this is $4.10 for like pretty much a half pound of cheese. And then I got Fontina cheese because... I don't know, I feel like you always hear it on the cooking channel, and I've never really, that I know of, had it by itself. Um, so, and I thought the price was really good. This is just over a half pound, 0.54, for $3.23. So, I was excited about that. And then, they also have salami and stuff for an okay price, but we have a discount market really close to us. And I got this pack of reduced sodium dry salami for, like, $2.99. So, and it is, I think, 8 ounces, 10 ounces, where are we? 8 ounces. So, and then for Christmas, we had gotten, like, those Hickory Farms things. So, I think I'm going to cut some of this. I just found this in our cheese drawer, and I was like, duh, I should put this out, too. So, I think I'm going to put this one out. This is the Summer Sausage. So, I'm going to put that out on the cheese tray and everything um, and just get that ready. She probably won't be here for another hour. Um, so, I'm just going to leave it in the fridge for now. But I just want it to be ready, you know. After, like, a two-hour drive, it's nice to come and snack on stuff. So, yeah. I hope that you guys are having a good day. And that you're off on Friday, because that would be amazing. Well, I'm filming this on a Friday. Actually, it'll go up today, maybe. 
or next Friday. We'll see. But yeah, so I just wanted to check in, let you know what I'm doing and kind of vlog while I'm in the kitchen and cleaning up around the house. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you want to know what I put in my compote, it's just strawberries, probably about a cup of strawberries, a dash, probably about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of vanilla, and then like a tablespoon of sugar. Well, the bird's angry. Um, so this is what it looks like now. It smells really good, you guys. So I just need to take my immersion blender or something to mash it all together. Um, my husband likes it pretty thick, so... I might not use the immersion blender, but I feel like that's how I like it. I don't know. I don't eat that much of it, but so I've talked about this on my blog. I love immersion blenders. This also comes with like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a, this top goes on like a regular sized blender like this big. So basically, I love, love, love the Immersion Blender. It helps me do so much in the kitchen, like, quickly. Like, I don't refry beans. All I do is put them in a pan, and we heat them up, and then use this. Um, what else do I use it for? Um, I can use it to make whipped cream. I can use it to do soups. Um, really anything. It's so amazing. I love it. Like, honestly, I want to get some for some of my family members that don't have them. Mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower. Like, it's just so easy. And all you do is plug this part in, pop it on, and then push the buttons. And then when you're done or if you're still using it, you just take this off and leave this in the pan or pot. I love it. So I'm excited for right now. So I have, like, a convenient plug here, but of course... My husband is obsessed with these complete cookies, and it's in my way. So again, super easy. So much easier to wash than a blender. You don't have to change any position of anything. I love it. Sometimes you have to be really careful for splash up because it's hot. That's the only thing. Um, I have been burned. <laughs> I don't think I have it on video, but I have been like burned by things that splash off. It's just cause you can turn the pot kind of, cause when it's shallow, it shoots out the side. So so then I'm not sure if it's done yet. I take this off it to a safe side and kind of mix it around to check on it. So it's a little bit thinner than I'd like. I might add some cornstarch. I'm going to see. But I'm going to let it do its thing. Let me try it. Mm, that's really good. Um, so I'm kind of going to let it sit and cool down. Um, so that way, sorry. So that way it can thicken on its own or do what it needs to do but I'm just gonna leave this in here I don't know if you can see it I just leave this in here in case I need to use it again it's in there and then all I do with this wind it back up hold on Dexter Dexter's in the room he locks himself in the room because he pushes the door open goes in and it closes but then he wants out so just put that back in my cupboard close that this back and then that's there if I need it let me go let Dexter out. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing today. My hair, I swear. I don't know what it's doing. And my name got spelled wrong two different ways at Starbucks. I don't like to tell them the spelling of my name. I like to see if anybody will ever get it right, but it never is. So this is one way. This is close. Ciara, where are we? C-I-A-R-A. -A. Almost. And then the OG spelling, which is so not mine, S-I-E-R-R-A. But, you know, Starbucks is so bomb. I just love to see the different ways they spell people's names. And then I'm trying to kind of think of what I want to cook for dinner. I don't know. I have to go to work around 5, so I either need to have dinner ready or my husband said he's going to probably do sliders, so I'm trying to think of sides that I could make him. I have some roasted cauliflower 
and a few other things that he could use as a side and not have to worry about it. So, yeah. Let me wash this stuff. So, bear with me. Alexa, can you play music? want to know what your Starbucks order is. I'm pretty Starbucks loyal, so any coffee shop order. Um, I do like going to like coffee shops that are not corporate, but Starbucks is just the easiest for me. I get money back. So whenever I go out for coffee like with someone, we always go somewhere other than Starbucks. It's usually like a local coffee shop, which I love. But just a day-to-day -day, like random I need a coffee, I need something, pick it up at Starbucks, I'm a gold member, highly suggest it. I finally convinced my best friend to join the Starbucks, um, the Starbucks club, so right now she's a green member, and she'll work her way up to gold, but I'm like, you know, you might as well, even if you don't buy that much Starbucks, like, you might as well get some rewards back if you're gonna buy any at all, why not? So, and people get you gift cards for it, I feel like. I mean, being a preschool teacher and everything, people commonly got us gift cards for Starbucks. And you can register your gift card and use it on the app. And it's so easy. Um, most places accept it. Like the movie theater and Barnes and & Noble and stuff like that. Um, they don't accept gift cards or the Starbucks app. So I always make sure to get Starbucks before I go because I'm not going to spend money on it when I have like rewards and stuff like that um, that I can't get back. And you even get rewards if you just buy like um, the coffee that's ground or whole bean, any of that, or like the packets of powder, you get um, points for that too. You just enter a code. So really, I just love that about it and they give you certain little deals, fun challenges and stuff once you become a gold member. So highly recommend it. Um, I believe that Coffee Bean Tea Leaf also started something similar but I don't know what it is. Um, I think Dunkin Donuts does as well. I think even 7-Eleven has an app. Um, but I don't know, I can't speak for those so I don't know how they work. If you're interested in those places more then maybe check that out. But let me just tell you, whenever I go to Starbucks my favorite, favorite thing is a soy chai tea latte. I'm lactose intolerant, so that's why I get soy. They have other milk choices, but it just doesn't taste as good as soy to me. Um, and I don't allow myself to have soy milk at home or anything, so it's the only time I enjoy um, anything with soy in it, pretty much. So, anyways. Um... So I usually get a soy chai tea latte. Um, I usually get it iced. It's rare that I get hot drinks there. I don't know why. Um, other than that, I'll occasionally get a caramel macchiato. Um, but I like it very particularly because I don't like when it's too strong. So I get one shot only in it. I think that's the only thing that I alter. Um, I got it one time with the normal amount of shots and I was like, oh, nope, hate it. Like I still drink it, but I was like, this is not good. I don't like it. My husband, on the other hand, always gets the um, caramel macchiatos. I don't think I've really seen him get anything else besides like a fun frap occasionally. But he typically always gets a caramel macchiato with non-fat milk. And he always gets hot, so we're like pretty opposite. Um, but let me tell you that I am in love with this matcha. I'm going to do a video talking about pronunciation because I'm not sure. I think it's matcha um, green tea. I love it. Um, Costco, if you're a Costco member, now sells the powder for like $9.99 for like a tin. So I think that's a pretty good price and I'm going to buy it when I go next time. But this is just delicious. Um, maybe ask them to blend it so that all of it's not caught at the bottom. I mean, you can't see it now. It's gone, but I don't know. But 
yeah and I think it's way healthier so I think this is probably going to be my new order it's the same price as my soy chai tea latte unfortunately Starbucks charges if you get soy which kind of sucks to me because it's not really our fault like all the milk alternatives all the milk alternatives cost extra money and I don't like that because I don't know to me it's not fair that I'm lactose intolerant like if I could have regular regular milk why can't I pronounce things today if I could have regular milk or if they had lactose free option like a lactose free cow's milk I would get that so for me I just don't like I think it costs like 60 cents extra that's a little bit frustrating for me but whatever I get over it if you like the same drinks as me and stuff like that and you go to coffee bean tea leaf let me tell you my favorite 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 drink there is the Moroccan mint latte oh my gosh that thing is to die for anytime I think about coffee bean tea leaf that's like the only thing I want and I always get it hot I've never gotten it iced and the last time we went they had something like an orchata latte or something and P got that he didn't and they mixed it actually it was like an orchata mixed with matcha tea and it was pretty good it was a little bit sweet but it was really good he didn't love it he likes more like strong coffee stuff but yeah so try any of those drinks if you liked what I like you will probably love the Moroccan mint I believe it's just the Moroccan mint latte it's like a tea oh my gosh it is so good it's like mint chocolate chip ice cream I swear so that's my suggestion to you on drinks at coffee shops when I go to just a traditional coffee shop though like when I go out I usually just get a soy chai tea latte or like um, the last time I went with my sister it was um, a local coffee shop and they had pumpkin spice in April April May so I was happy I got like a pumpkin spice chai tea latte but I just thought that was so interesting guys my hair I just thought that was interesting because usually they have like I don't know they only have that usually during like October November like fall I think Starbucks starts in September but or I'll get like a vanilla latte or something something easy that I know I'll like so yeah I just wanted to share my coffee drinks with you and what I like and maybe you will try it and let me know if you try any of them or you like any of the drinks we like let me know down below or if you have any suggestions that I should try something let's check on the compote maybe it's sticking up a little more oh yeah there we go it's not as runny it is like syrup so that's how I wanted it to be I'm gonna make banana pancakes tomorrow okay guys so I'm editing a few different vlogs um, and I forgot to end some of them so I wanted to make this ending for them so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments or anything leave them down below for me um, if you haven't already please subscribe and if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll leave that here and if you want to follow me on snapchat I'll leave my name here so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.